Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. Uh, today's chapter, guys, will be um, on error handling. So it's extremely um, vital for every programmer to um, ensure that his scripts are error free. And if they are not, there should be a way to detect those errors. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump down to the Excel workbook, the Developers tab, and Visual Basic. So, um, so we will. I, I will demonstrate an example of how um, a few error handling techniques would work. So, for instance, we've got this sheet right here. We will sum the value um, mentioned in the first column and as you can see among this value we have an alphabet Z so as soon as it tries to sum up Z to these numbers we should experience an error so let me quickly write up a code let's define an integer um, an object and a total sum again as an integer so um, we would like to start off our loop with the first row so let's say i equal to 1 let's set our object to this workbook dot sheets the active sheet that we are on it's called error handling the sheets name dot cells now let's assume we have to run a loop using do while my vb which is assigned to this workbook dot sheets the current sheet dot cells um, i which is row number 1 one which is column A so our loop will start right from here um, dot value does not equal to blank loop so what we are saying is keep looping from row 1 and column 1 keep increasing the rows value by 1 unless and until you find a blank so the loop will end once it reaches number 8 now let's say um, um, total sum equal to total sum plus my vb i um, which is first through and column dot value so what this would do is um, this would keep adding up total sums value and in the end we should have a value of a sum of six when our loop ends so let's try running this loop right now and see what happens so as you can see we've got an error as soon as the loop reached to row number five which is a z it couldn't sum up the value so this is where our error handling technique would come in place so let's try again let's write a line of code code called um, on error resume next what this would do is um, whenever the system identifies an error it would ignore that error and it would it would resume the code execution which means our loop will continue running and it will just ignore the cell and it will jump down to 6 and it will keep adding up the value so again let's try running this loop with the help of on error resume next and let's try to see the total sums value once the sub procedure ends so let's try it now as you can see without experiencing any error we've come to an end outcome using a technique which is on error resume next now similarly I could do something else as well I could say on error go to um, we could assign a place where we'd like this function to go if it identifies an error um, on error go to found error so um, let's exit the sub here let's get the found error sub over here and let's say a um, message box um, there seems to be an error with your code so now if we run this again um, let's see what will be the total sums value before um, before the error and then finally the sub will end since we've said as soon as you get an error just jump to this procedure which is found error so let's try running this again as you can see unlike previously um, where the value was 6 now it's 4 which is 1 row number 1 2 3 4 because on the fifth row it found an error so it's automatically jumped to that sub where it says there seems to be an error with your code which can be an instant indicator so anyways guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos take care bye bye